Hello Divine Souls, I hope your day is going well. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So let's get the collective energy for this template reading today. What are the messages for this reading today, Holy Spirit? Tell me more about this twin flame connection and the person on their mind. What does the collective need to see and hear? Spying. This has been coming out a lot lately. This person is either researching you or researching what this connection is all about. But it says social network on here. So they're on the internet looking at something. I feel like they're trying to see if you're with anyone else. They want to make a move, but they also want to be sure that you're not tied to someone else. This spine could also be a karmic, but we're going to go deeper in a minute. Groupie. Just like I said, this spine could very well be the karmic. This karmic could be spying on your divine masculine because she's a groupie. And the reason why she's spying is because she wants to see if the divine masculine made his way back to you. They're no longer together for some of you. Only you. Your divine masculine is done with these third party situation. And he only wants you divine feminines. It says devoted, attached, and crave. He's looking for devotion now. Intimacy. I do feel like he misses the intimacy with you. For those of you who have been intimate with the divine masculine. But I feel like this goes beyond that. Because on here it says bonding. He misses the closeness. He misses your conversations. And he just misses being around you. Hoping. He's hoping for a second chance. He's manifesting you. Oh, twin flames. And remember when I said that he was researching something. Your divine masculine is researching either what a twin flame is or what a soulmate is. Because he can't figure out why you're always on his mind. And why does he only want you? Because he was used to being a player with the groupies card. He's also reflecting on your connection. Confusion. See, this is falling up under only you. Just like I was saying. He can't figure out why you're so strong in his energy. Uncertain, unclear, and unsure. That's why he goes back and forth with his feelings. But he can't stop thinking about you. You have thinking, missing you, craving, and desiring you. And on the bottom of the deck, you have karma. Consequences, cause and effect, and debts. His karma was losing you. And that's what he's thinking about. So let's get some clarifiers on these cards. See, look at this. Wow. Wow. So your divine masculine is looking for loyalty. He wants to commit. He's gained clarity on this situation. He's gained clarity on your connection. And he's also healing. He wants to come forward, but he fears rejection. And he wants to apologize. Wow. You also have curse. For some of you, there was a curse put on this connection. Hex, witchcraft, negative mind. He could have been the one to put this curse on this connection having a negative mind about you and just being in low vibration because he had cloudy judgment due to this curse. And for some of you, this karmic could have also put a spell on your connection. That's why your divine masculine had cloudy judgment. But see, he wants to return. Second chance, opportunity, and making amends. With the thinking card falling up under intimacy, your divine masculine was also using love spells is what I just heard. Some of you just randomly feel horny out the blue. And it's because your divine masculine was using love spells. So let's go deeper on these cards.
clarify spying who is doing this spying you have the king of pentacles yeah your divine masculine is spying on you why is the divine masculine spying and see with this king of pentacles it's letting me know that he feels like you're with someone else he feels like you're in a committed relationship The Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Yeah, he feels like you're happier without him. Or he's wanting to see if you're happier without him. And with the Eight of Cups, he feels like you're gone. He feels like you're never coming back. The Empress can't make it up. He feels like you're never coming back. And he fantasizes about you a lot with the Nine of Cups. And you have the thinking card here. So that's why he's spying. Someone here could also be pregnant. Let's clarify groupie. Ten of Cups. This karmic is still in the divine masculine's energy. And she wants the Ten of Cups with him. Clarify the Ten of Cups. The Emperor. I cannot make this shit up. She wants the divine masculine back. She wants the end all be all with him. She can't let go. Clarify only you. You have the five of wands. So this is about drama and strife. The five of wands is also competition. Clarify the five of wands. If the divine masculine only wants the divine feminines, why is there drama? You have the four of wands. So for some of you, the divine masculine could be married. But that's the commitment card. He wants to commit to you, but there's something blocking him. What is this blockage? The Seven of Cups. Options. You also have the Magician at the bottom of the deck. So even though he's manifesting you, I feel like there's still someone in his energy. Clarify the Magician. There's a Queen of Swords in his energy, and I feel like it's this karmic. Clarify the Queen of Swords. That's why the Five of Wands came out. This karmic is causing tension in your connection. Look at how she's looking at the Emperor. Like her ass is out for blood. Like I'm going to get you by any means necessary. And see, he's looking forward. She's looking straight at him and he's looking forward. He's not trying to hear it though. You have the Five of Disc. And on here it says Worry. This karmic is worried that the Divine Masculine is through with her. Yeah, you have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. This karmic knows that you and your Divine Masculine are twin flames. She knows it. You have the Emperor and the Empress out here. She knows. But she feels like the Divine Masculine is her twin flame. Her soulmate. But there's something changing in their connection. The Wheel of Fortune is in number 10. There's a completion here. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. What's this change? Oh, wow. The devil. With the curse card coming out earlier, this karmic was doing spell work on your relationship. She was nothing but the motherfucking devil. And the Divine Masculine is seeing her ass for what she is. Because the magician, along with the groupie card, is someone who's a trickster. And the Magician can also signify spell work being done. The Devil, the Magician, and the Curse card. Yeah, she was jealous of you and your Divine Masculine's relationship. And she was enabling his addictions. That's why he couldn't see straight. Clarify intimacy. The Six of Swords. He's wanting to move on to Karma Waters with you. But see, he's got to get out of this low vibration. And with this clarifying the Wheel of Fortune... He's looking at things in a new perspective. I don't know if you can see this, but there's an eye right here. A big eye. He's getting clarity on this karmic. Clarify hoping. The world, I told you, is over. It's an ending. This cycle has closed out. And what comes after the world? The fool. He wants a new beginning with you. Clarify twin flames. Justice. He wants to balance the scales. He's coming in with the truth. He wants to talk to you. Can't make it up. Judgment. 
forgiveness and second chance. Clarify confusion. The Ace of Swords wanting to talk, wanting to clear things up, coming in with communication. And the Princess of Disc, some of you are going to be getting a text message. But I'm definitely seeing communication. Clarify thinking. You have the Two of Swords. He's all up in his head. Should I reach out to the collective? Is the collective going to reject me? Is the collective with someone else? Should I send a text? Should I send an email? Should I just show up at her door? That's what he's thinking about. He's trying to make a decision on what he should do. Clarify the Two of Swords. What did I tell you about the fool? Thank you, Holy Spirit. The world is the last major arcana, closing something out and starting over with the fool. That's what he wants to do with you. He's going to take this chance, though. Clarify the fool. Temperance, reconciliation, a divine connection. He's also healing. And on the bottom of the deck, you have the tower and the lovers. Their connection is a wrap. It's over with. That shit is dismantled, okay? Because he wants to work it out with you with the aid of disc. Your divine masculine only wants you. He's looking for devotion. And like I said, he's gained clarity with this tower. Let's get a few more cards out of here and then we'll get some messages. So in the extended reading, we're going to take a look to see, is it really over with the Divine Masculine and this karmic? The lovers and the tower. Is your Divine Masculine ready for a true commitment? Does he truly and only want you? Because you do have devoted on here. Is there anyone else in your Divine Masculine's energy? You have the groupie card. Is there another third party situation? What is he researching? Because he damn sure is spying on your ass. We're going to take a deeper look on this card. What does he want to communicate to you? What does he want to tell you? I'm going to post some messages for me to my masculine. So if you guys would like to purchase the extended readings, it's for members only. But I'm offering a seven day free trial. So you're free to check it out. All the information is in the description box below. I may or may not do a single extended reading. Just check the description box. And if I do, there will be a link to that. But before we go, let's see what else is going on. Finality. Farewell. Leave behind and closure. Either the Divine Masculine is finally closing this chapter on this karmic. You did have the world. Or you finally had it. And you're gone with the Eight of Cups. Clinging. He's still holding on to you, Divine Feminines. You also have spying on here. Wow. We're definitely going to go deeper on that card. Soulmates. Did I not say that he was either researching Twin Flame or Soulmates? He can't figure out why he's so attracted to you and why he can't let you go. But I hear it says deep love, unity, and connection. You guys have a great connection. And now he's viewing you as his soulmate. I told you his ass has gained clarity. With this big eye right here. Even when he was in low vibration with this devil, he knew what this shit was. Yeah, he's in pain. I'm hearing he lost the love of his life. Because you put up boundaries. Now he wants his family back. But he had a lot of pride. He can't stop thinking about you with fantasy. He feels like his time is running out. He stressed the fuck out. And he wants commitment because he can't stop thinking about you with memories. Look at this. When I cut the deck, I want you and only you. I want you, only you. I wish I would have treated you better. I'm afraid to contact you. I told you, that's why he's spying. You speak to me through music. So you know my masculine listens to a lot of music. I think in my last video, music came out a lot. And this is also letting me know that he's in the hermit mode. He also knows that time is running out and he has to make a move. So that's why the Two of Swords came out. 
He knows he has to make this decision. I hate who I really am from you. He was so used to lying and conniving and duping people that when he met someone genuine like you, he didn't know what to do. And let's get one more. I couldn't let you get close to me. He pushed you away. And now he's regretting it. That's why he's in pain. And on the bottom of the deck, it says, you are the best thing in my life. And that's what I said. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So let's continue to the extended reading. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. So when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and lights always.